Hello YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I just want to give you some good news. You know, I, 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 I was beating myself up about these, the, the nitrates. You know, I, I didn't know how the nitrates could have gotten up as high as they did from those last uh, tests that I shared with you in that uh, nitrate test kit video that was just released. And um, you know, it makes sense to me now. It, it, it actually does. I just had to give it some thought. And if you, if, if you stay with the same maintenance schedule, if you just stick with that same schedule over time, eventually what's gonna happen is it's not gonna be enough. And, and, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. If you're, if you're adding fish to your tank and, um, and, and your fish are growing, they're putting on size, and because of that they're, they're eating more and uh, things of this nature, there's just gonna be a, a over time a higher and higher uh, buildup of waste and um, we know that that cichlids and you know in general are, are, are very very big ammonia factories and uh, and of course some people call uh, canisters nitrate factories I don't I don't really buy that I think the nitrate factory is really the lack of, um, of fish husbandry the ability to really take care of the fish and, and uh, stay on top of it uh, that's really the nitrate factory and that that's on me in my case and I had kept the same regimen over time and in fact had scaled back the percentage of water that I was uh, swapping out in water changes to uh, try and, and curtail or stop the um, the scraping on the rocks or the substrate the uh, flashing some people call it that the fish would do sometimes after a water change usually in reaction to a, a shift usually in pH something like that and so um, I scaled it back and I kept that routine in for a while meanwhile these fish were growing I had added uh, fish to the tank so I was increasing more and more of the bio load while scaling back how much water I was changing and so over time what happened is it just sort of overran it the the nitrate accumulation just started building up so um, so I've serviced the, the the heck out of the uh, the fluval that is on this tank and uh, and I've gone ahead and as you can see here I've, I've done a, a, a greater than 50% water change and uh, so I believe that I'm gonna be turning the corner on this thing uh, right away and so I'll probably do a couple changes of water greater than 50% and um, and uh, you know really really stay on top of that uh, you know really stay on top of that canister the canister looked like it normally looks after uh, you know several months you know four months or so of running I do swap out that that pinky floss on the top pretty regularly that helps but you know the outside sponges on a fluval can get pretty caked up with um, you know with gunk and the buckets uh, that I used and the uh, you know the things that I used to rinse the media and the sponges were pretty black you know it was like black tar by the time I was finished so there was definitely a lot of waste in in the canister and uh, you know that's gonna happen when you have a canister that is pulling that much water with that much pressure in a tank that is as heavily stocked as the one behind me so the moral that I've learned, and whether you want to apply this to your fish keeping or not, that's your call. But if, if you're running a tank over a long period of time and those fish are growing and you're adding fish to that tank over time, which means you're adding food and things of that nature, you can't have the same routine that you were using three, three years ago, four years ago. It, it, it has to be updated and dialed in or adjusted to fit the bio load. And so uh, that's my takeaway on the whole thing. I hope it helps you in your fish keeping. Just be conscious that um, as time goes on and your fish put on size, they produce more ammonia and of course they eat more. And if you're adding fish to the, uh, uh, you know, to, to the system, again, you're multiplying all of these factors and you can't, you're gonna have to do some tweaking to the maintenance routine. Uh, and uh, that's my takeaway. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. I will share with you my uh, nitrate results uh, after my next series of tests after this tank has settled down, but I am confident that uh, I am uh, gonna be turning this thing around very quickly with getting back 
to really fish keeping basics. All right. Thank you so much, my friends. You are appreciated. And I uh, hope to see you on Saturday at the live stream. And uh, be sure to rate, share, and uh, comment and all that good stuff. And I really appreciate it when you do. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.